Hey guys, it's Sam here again. So this is my garden video. Uh, gardening is like one of the things I, I like to do. Not gardening like flowers, but I love like growing food, vegetables, fruit, you know, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I'll take you for a quick tour of my garden. And this should be a pretty quick vid. It shouldn't really take too long. So now here's a loquat tree. It's about as tall as me. It's about six feet tall right now. Um, I grew it from a seed, so it's taken three, uh, I think five years actually now. Here's a fig tree. This is about three to four years old. It's got two figs on it. They're green right now. I think it might have some kind of disease or something because the leaves are kind of misshapen in some areas. Fig leaves are all supposed to look exactly like this one. And some of those leaves, you know, they got that rounder shape. They don't look right. Here is a grapevine. So I'm growing. Um, this is a sugar cane. I planted this just from a piece of cane and it started growing. I'm watering it. Actually, I'm not watering it, but it gets rained on all the time. So it's getting plenty of water and sunshine. It's looking good. Here's all these um, citrus trees that my dad grew from seed. Now, as you probably know, citrus trees, they don't grow that well from a seed. They'll produce a tall, thorny, thin tree that doesn't produce very much fruit. So that's why I grafted them with a bud graft. I went to the citrus nursery and they gave me some blood orange cuttings and I took off some of the buds and I grafted it onto some of these. I just used um, packaging tape and I used a tea bud or modified tea bud graft. That's pretty cool. Um, it's only been about five days. They haven't, you know, they don't really look dried out. I think that they might actually take. I did a small little cleft graft at the bottom there and these are really thorny, I'm being careful. There's a modified tea bud graft there again. So that might be a little blurry. I don't want to get too close to all these because as you can see these thorns, man, they'll kill you. I snipped off some of them, but those thorns will ruin your day. You know, they'll put an eye out easily. And then, um, this is a blackberry plant. Now, let's see if I can find a blackberry. There's really none on here right now, but there was, I think birds ate them. Here, here's a little better picture of it. As you can see, it has those where the berries used to be, but bugs and birds ate them. And then here's a, bl a blueberry bush. Got some blueberries on it. They're not quite ripe yet. They're still that, you know, lighter color. And then here's a little Valencia orange bush. I don't like those that much. But then here is a uh, Mineola tangelo tree. Now, this thing doesn't produce that much oranges, but the oranges that it do give... They're a mix of grapefruit and tangerine, so they're really like huge tangerines. You know, they're bigger than average oranges, and these are prized by some people. Some people pay, you know, a hundred bucks for a bag of these, you know, the really locally grown good ones. So these are a prized orange, and they're worthwhile to grow for sure. I'm not sure about the Valencias, but the Tangelos are. And then... I don't have too much left, but now as you can see, this is a Robolini palm or um, I think it's called like a dwarf dwarf date palm and it, it's going to grow these little dates on it. They're going to turn reddish blacks, um, you know, it'll take a while, but those are edible. They're tiny, but they're edible. 
they're, they're not really that good. Most people have a lot, you know, they have those Robolini palms, but they don't use them for that. So, start thinking about that, because they are edible and they're healthy. And this is a pineapple that I'm trying to grow. It's having a little bit of growth. That, it, that inside portion wasn't there before. And then here's a little lemon tree that I'm trying to grow. I, I, I do know that uh, citrus trees grown from seed aren't really that good, but lemon trees can be okay sometimes. Also key limes. Key limes and lemons are the best. Key limes take about two years to fruit from seed. Lemons, pr around five. This is a tamarind tree, or tamarind. They don't really grow here, but I'm giving it a shot. I'm gonna take it indoors in the winter time, and we'll see if I can get some growth. And, you know, not have it die from not being the right climate for it. I made this little wire cage for this sugar cane that I planted. It hasn't sprouted yet. There's all these squirrels here, and I think they've been eating all my crap, so, I mean, not crap, but they've been eating my stuff. And this was a fig, a fig cutting that I tried to root. I don't know how well it's going, but we'll, we'll, we'll you know, we'll give it a shot. And then I got one more. This right here is a crab apple tree, big old crab apple. If I can ever get an apple, a real eating apple variety cutting. I'm going to graft it onto this and I'm going to have a big apple tree. So that'll be much better than, you know, having this thing, which doesn't really give anything that's good. Every now and then we'll get some crab apples. Wasn't too many this year. Let's see if I can get one in the picture. Yeah, there it is. So it's like a little ball. Kind of hard to see. Has like a flower on the end of it. But yeah. So that's it guys, um, not that much of an impressive garden right now, but I'm working on it. You know, we got all these big shade trees, I gotta remove all of them. Gotta pay someone to cut it down, cause I could cut it down with my ax, but it would fall on someone's house and I'd get sued, so we're gonna pay someone to, to do it so that they take the responsibility, cause I don't have the best equipment for that. And that's it guys, just chilling today. Maybe go fishing later. That's it. Have a good day. I'll see you guys in my next video.